So for me, I put all these things together literally such that I can, I can, I can try. What doesn't go, I remove it. I just keep removing. I can say maybe let me introduce a lamp somewhere. You understand me? So you find all this will go in the pink. You understand me? Yeah. All this could go in that space. But at the end of the day, I still have both fabrics I work with. You get me? So for me, what I'm like, for the budget you're working with, you're DIYing the things that you actually have. We will use as much as possible everything on that side so that it can work times 10. Uh, but we'll just tweak it to work for the space. Uh, nothing, I'm losing nothing. All of this one, I'm losing nothing. All of that furniture is working. We just tweak it and then we'll add. Okay. Uh, so how about the wedding uh, element to the wedding planner's space? The wedding planner's space, I just, I'm looking at kitchenette corner and the living room corner. So for the living room corner, of course, I'm thinking a couch. I saw a couch that can work. Accessorize it with about two chairs and the living room is up. And then I go vertical. A rug down, I have a few, I think a rug or two that could also match. You just put a rug, ground the space, put that sitting, living area. The couch can work, you just put two chairs. The rug grounds it together and then go vertical. Like it's just about, you build from ground up. And then the kitchenette, of course, definitely, I'm looking for. I was looking for some vertical. Now, I looked at the kitchen, and I'm telling you, that, that kitchen is just, it's busy. It's going to be one of the biggest challenges, because already it's busy by its surfaces. But what we're going to do now is just to, to lean in into what is. We lean in. So we'll be like, all I can tell you, it may not be the perfect version, because actually for the kitchen, I haven't figured it out, but I'll figure it out. But to be leaning into what's already there. Because already the colorings are bold. Eh? So it's just more you just lean in. So if you have greens, we're talking green plants, green plants, where the green is. We are leaning into what's already there. You understand me? But the kitchen alone, it's like a, it's like a Christmas. So we'll just lean into what would be neat in its Christmas coloring. What, what neat is in the Christmas version? It will be a bit moody and more personal. It will be more like personal. I was, you know, one day maybe the stories of like when I was here, this this is this is what I was thinking. I did this this kitchen this way. The, we were like there's a story to what inspired me to, to, to go this direction. My it's not it's not told but it's shown. You understand me? So you just lean in towards there. What would be the plan to change that space of the pub the way it is from a library or a reading room into a pub? What are the, the slight things that you'd tap into, the, the three versions? No, it would be definitely using furniture, using furniture like different setups. If I have one table around, I have, I have a table stools. If I have a couch corner with maybe a, a sister chair looking like people looking at each other, those are already three configurations. Just the stools and the round table somewhere, the chair with the couch setting, or two couch settings looking at each other. And then also the, the chairs that are more vertical, they're vertically endowed with, with either a round or a square table. Okay. You use furniture. Going up on the pub side, definitely, if you had lights like those, it helps to illuminate a lot. You can really do any artistic impressions, like artistic, more like eclectic art. So I just get my collected art, eclectic, including just printing, printers pictures. And, 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 and laminating them. Eclectic art. Eclectic, the collected thing that you showed me that one of the, the collectors just collected eclectic pieces, you get. So the wall, you, you can exaggerate by collecting and you just do very basic hanging. It's not, it's not permanent. It's just like, I have, I have pins in there that I just, I, let me just show you one. Like a pin, I can just do this and, <laughs> and, and, and it, when I hang an art piece, it feels like it belongs. You can just look at this. I mean this. This, this just feels like it belongs, but this, I just hung this by that. Just something, yeah. You are filming my chaos. 